there i'm rachel thank you for stopping by my channel it's time for another what's for dinner this week i am focusing on sizzling summer recipes that you can cook indoors if you don't have access to a grill you don't have to miss out on any of these delicious summertime recipes Okay, I fibbed just a little bit because my husband did grill these steaks in the backyard on our grill, but I left them in here because it is so easy to cook your steaks on the stovetop using a cast iron or a regular skillet. And then to go along with them, I just fried some potatoes and onions, and this was a very simple and delicious sizzling summer dinner. We love steak any way you make it. On Monday night, I just made up a simple chicken and veggie stir fry using some boneless, skinless chicken breast that I seasoned up with just some garlic powder and some salt and pepper. I added a little bit of soy sauce while it was sauteing up in the pan, just a little bit of olive oil there so it doesn't stick. And um, then I just cut up my fresh veggies. I had some onion, some broccoli, and a couple of bell peppers. If you have any fresh produce from your garden, that would be wonderful, but none of our veggies are coming in yet. It's a little early for us here in Michigan. Um, I do use a bag of frozen stir fry veggies, but I always like to add fresh to those whenever I use them, just because it bulks it up and there just never seems to be enough veggies in those packages of frozen. So here I am just getting my broccoli cut down into bite-sized pieces. I am still healing from surgery, but I'm up on my feet with crutches and um, doing the best I can still, but I try to keep my meals as simple as possible because simple tasks like cutting veggies is still a little hard for me. And so that is why I also ordered some uh, bags of already chopped up veggies so that it would just make the cooking process a little easier for me and the stir fry is just super super simple because all I'm doing is cooking up this chicken and these letting them cook all together adding some soy sauce and just some basic spices I do add some red pepper flakes to this because we like a little bit of heat to all of our foods um, you most likely see red pepper flakes in everything I make but here I think that this is a perfect summer meal because it's just one of those um, light and healthy dinners that you like to have in the summertime nothing to weigh you down it's too hot to eat those really heavy meals but anyway I'm just going to remove the chicken after it is cooked and put that on a plate so that I can get those veggies started right in the same pan like I said I want a super easy meal just because um, I'm still healing and don't want to have to take a lot of extra steps or do a lot of dishes. I don't have a dishwasher. I do dishes by hand. And um, now I'm just going to get the frozen veggies started. This is the broccoli stir fry from Great Value. And I just put that right in the pan that the chicken was in and get that started first. And like I said, it's the broccoli stir fry, but there's not that much broccoli. So I add my own and then I season up that veggie um, pan with the garlic and the soy sauce as well. And then I'm just going to let that cook down for a little while. And those frozen veggies are going to make um, some liquid in the pan, which is what I want to steam um, the rest of the fresh veggies and get those cooked up. Just going to pop a lid on the pan and then I'm going to get some pot stickers going in another pan. I have some olive oil and a little bit of water and then I'm just going to put those pot stickers in there. I'm just going to crowd them in there like a little crowded elevator. <laughs> I'm really bad about putting too much food in one pan, but it always seems to work out. Once my veggies have cooked down a little, I just made a little hole in the middle and then added my chicken back in. My pot stickers are browned on the bottom, so I'm putting that lid on and then letting them finish steaming and now I'm just adding some thawed shrimp into the pan these only take a couple of minutes they were left over from a meal that we had last week so um, 
my husband um, really loves shrimp, so he was super excited about getting to have some shrimp in his stir fry. And I'm just gonna stir that in and let those cook up. Like I said, it only takes a couple of minutes. When they're pink, they're ready. And uh, then we'll be ready to have the stir fry. I do end up having my stir fry on quinoa and the guys had ramen noodles. There's not a lot of rice eaters in our family, but this is um, how we like to have our plates. This is mine. I have a couple pot stickers. That delicious and light, tasty stir fry fry and that was dinner. To me this is the perfect dinner on a hot summer day. One of my favorite things about summer is grilled hamburgers, but I wasn't able to get to the grill and there wasn't anybody home that could do it for me. So we're gonna pop them into a frying pan and here I am just seasoning them up with a steak seasoning blend that I made myself and moved my lid out of the way. I'm not sure why it was even sitting there because I didn't use it. But anyway, I just put steak seasoning on each side of those burgers and cooked them until they were done. I set out a plate with some fresh lettuce leaves and some sliced onions for anybody who likes lettuce and onions on their burgers. And to me in the summertime, the perfect side dish is always a nice cool salad. So I chopped up the rest of that lettuce and put it in a bowl so that we could have some salads on the side. burgers were super delicious and since gathering up a bunch of different spices and um, wheeling around on my little scooter to get everything that I need is kind of a pain I just opted to use the steak seasoning that has all of the spices right in there so it saved me a couple of steps and these burgers were so tasty so that's my little tip if you want to save a few steps in the kitchen or if you're just in a big hurry and want to get your burger seasoned up pretty fast. And here I just went ahead and made salads for all three of the guys with all of the different things that they like. I think I know what my family likes on their salad better than they do. And then I had a little bit on the side on my plate. I just did some mustard and ketchup and some cheese on my burger. We had some Kraft macaroni and cheese to go along with it. And you can't have burgers without dogs, right? Well, I try not to make a lot of hot dogs around the house during the uh, summertime because it seems like whenever you go out in the summer to a barbecue or a lake day or a ball game or whatever, it seems like there's hot dogs everywhere and you can get pretty burnout on hot dogs. So, um, but still you want a dog every now and then for dinner, right? So um, on this night, I was just cooking up some of the um, smoked sausage here in the skillet of course because you know no grill <laughs> no grill action happening here not yet anyway and i just cut them into fun sized pieces and then split them in half so that i can put them cut side down and get them nice and crispy and then i'll just flip them over and get the skin side browned up as well and I kind of went back and forth about whether or not I wanted to do peppers, onions, and cheese, or like a sauerkraut, or whatever. I know that we really like fried cabbage and sausage, so I decided to chop up my cabbage and do like a fried cabbage topping to go on our dog. So I started off by putting some frozen peppers and onions into a frying pan with some olive oil just to get that started. Actually, I don't think I had olive oil. This is the pan that I cook the um, sausage in, so it just had some of the um, oil from those sausages in the bottom and then I added the frozen veggies and then mounded up all of that cabbage on top and I know it looks like a ton but it does cook down I seasoned that with some garlic powder some salt and some crushed red pepper of course but if you didn't like heat then you wouldn't have to do this 
um, you know, the peppers. Just leave them off. The other peppers are not hot at all. They're just bell peppers. And so I just put the lid on and let that steam from those uh, veggies on the bottom just kind of work its way up. And it does make quite a bit of liquid in there. And I just kept on trying to like hold it and get the cabbage worked down into the bottom. It doesn't take long before it all looks like this. It cooks way down, trust me. So at this point, I just took the lid off and let it cook. Some of that liquid out of there and then I just started making up our plates and here's what mine look like I just have some uh, chips and some dip and then Bill had brought home some macaroni salad from the deli home so that was a quick easy cool and delicious summertime dinner we really enjoyed the fried cabbage and peppers and onions on our dogs I had some chicken breast to use up on Thursday and so I decided to make a crock pot meal. I just peeled and washed some potatoes and got them chopped up into quarter quarter size I guess that's what they are I don't know anyway bite size pieces I put um, my chicken on one side of my crock pot and my potatoes on the other I just used some foil to make two different little compartments here I season both sides up with some garlic powder and I put in a half a stick of butter on the side that had the potatoes I used the remainder of my onions from burger night and just put those right on top of that chicken and then I came back in with some sweet baby Baby Ray's. This is finally the last of this big container of barbecue sauce that I bought a while back and I finally used it all up. Yay, I like when I use things up. Anyway, a little more garlic powder. I think that I thought I forgot to add it the first time and so I went back in, but here I see that I added it twice. Oh well, it was good. Anyway, we had pulled chicken sandwiches. I have some banana peppers on top. We're just using up more of those potato chips and French onion dip and that macaroni salad. The guys did have potatoes with theirs, but I wanted that mac salad to get used, so that's what I'm having. I just toasted my bun with some Gouda cheese and added that right on top of my chicken sandwich and some pickles on the side. On Friday, Bill packed up my scooter, my crutches, and everything I needed to go out since I haven't been anywhere all month except the doctor. We went to the Chinese buffet and then to the movie to see The Flash, and unfortunately I didn't get any pictures. But that's okay, you're not missing out on anything there. And then next we're rolling into Saturday and to get started I am making a bean dip. I will put this recipe in the description box because it is one that I found on print. Pinterest. And to get started, you just take a 15 ounce can of refried beans and put it into the food processor. And then you're just going to take six jalapeno peppers, the kind that come in a jar. And I think I took seven because a couple of them look pretty small. And then you use some of the brine from that jar of jalapeno peppers and you add that. And then you uh, add a quarter teaspoon of this and a quarter teaspoon of that. It's all stuff like um, chili powder, cumin, and garlic powder. And like I said, that will be in the description box if you decide you want to make this dip. It's super, super easy. You just give it a twirl. And then I just kept an eye on it. It looked a little thick to me. Those refried beans were really, really thick. Sometimes they're not as thick. So I just added a little bit more of the brine from those peppers and then gave it another swirl until it was nice and fluffy and then I just spooned it into a um, container to put in my fridge until we were ready to have dinner and we're just going to have some chips with this. I asked Bill to pick up some Fritos scoops when he went to the store but he called me and told me that a bag of Fritos scoops was almost seven dollars and so asked if he could just get Doritos instead and you know I just said it's his choice whatever because he's probably going to eat them the majority of this. I mean we'll all have a little but what Whatever's left over, he'll probably have to finish it off. It'll be his duty. <laughs> anyway, um, this dip is a um, 
knockoff of the Frito bean dip recipe, the kind that you can get in a can in the chips section. And it was really good. So after that, I just got started here. I am just putting some taco seasoning that I make up myself into um, a bowl with some ground beef. And so I'm making um, what I'm calling smash quesadillas. So I'm also using up a half a can of enchilada sauce. For whatever reason, I bought um, some of this red enchilada sauce for the pantry, but we don't really like red sauce or red enchilada sauce. So I was trying to figure out ways that I could use it up. And so I'm mixing it right into the meat here just to flavor it up um, for these quesadillas. But um, anyway, it's a good way to use it up, I guess. And I'm just forming my meat into some uh, meatballs, I guess. And I'm going to use my electric griddle to make these smash quesadillas. This is going to be like the smash burgers that everybody's making now. But I'm just going to leave them folded over, add some cheese, and then cook them on each side. And I just thought this would be an easy way to get our quesadillas cooked without having to cook the meat ahead of time. Okay, so all I have to do is get my meatballs positioned correctly and then I'm just going to place a tortilla on each one and smash them down. Mine are going to overlap just a little bit, but that's alright. The last time I made these, I had trust issues, so I got out my rolling pin, a whole bunch of cast iron skillets, and some wax paper, but since then, I have learned that these are just super, super easy to make, so we're just going to go for it this time. And I wish that I could be outside doing these on my uh, Blackstone, that would make it so much easier and I could just do them all at once, but I can't get out there today. So far, summer has just been a whirlwind, but there's still a lot of it left and I'll be able to go out and grill on my grill pretty soon. All right, so those feel nice and flat to me. I'm gonna give them a few minutes to cook and then we'll just flip them over.